Welcome to a brand new series, Cooking with a Fat Guy, where your favorite fat guys will be cooking up delicious meals, okay? I can always guarantee you two things on this episode, or these shows, that it'll be easy to make and it'll taste delicious, because you know I'm not eating anything that don't taste delicious. I've been eating good food my whole life, I'm not sure if I can cook, but let's figure it out. On today's episode of Cooking with a Fat Guy, we're going to be making a classic. Now, we're going to be hitting the Let Go My Egos. Hey, Let Go My Ego. Let Go My Ego, Jessica. If you're an old school kid like me, okay, I'm not that old. I'm 30, but you know the Let Go My Egos are delicious. We're hitting the chocolatey chip flavor. Now, you might be asking, Dallin, you ain't cooking nothing. Just wait. I promise you we're going to make these fat guy style. They're going to be delicious and delectable. You got to stick around to the end to see how we're going to make them fat guy style. I'm not 11, so you know we're going to do some stranger things around here and make these delicious. Now we wait. We're going to cook these up. I'll see you guys in a minute. Follow me to the fridge. We're going to get out some special ingredients. Okay, you know, every fat guy got to keep chocolate chips on deck. I know it's chocolatey chip flavor, but you got to have a few extras for your uh, special waffles. Caramel makes everything better. And we got some whipped cream. If you're feeling fancy, we can call it some crema. Okay, you know, I think that's the French version of cream. And, you know, French is the language of love. And, you know, I love food. So we're going to hit the French version with the crema. When you're cooking some Lego My Egos, you want to have the setting to about a four or a five. You got to make sure the outside's nice and crispy, okay? But the soft inside will be where it's at. So you don't want them to be like flimsy and stuff. You want the outside to be nice and crispy. We got two more delicious ingredients to get. First up, we got to hit the butter, okay? You got to have a little butter on top of your waffles. That's a classic. And last, we got to hit the syrup. Now, usually I'm a Mrs. Butterworth's guy, I'm not going to lie to you, but uh, I was feeling poor last time I went to the store and we had to get log cabin. So Mrs. Butterworth's is the best log cabin if you're feeling poor is the backup. Now we got our final steps. We got to assemble the greatness here, okay? Our waffles just popped. You can see they got that nice crispy outside, okay? And since we went with the chocolatey chip ones, the chocolate chips are melting a little bit. We're gonna put two on the plate at a time. We're gonna hit them with some butter, okay? Just a little bit, you don't need that much butter, but we do gotta butter each waffle, okay? Don't be scared of this, right? This is cooking with a fat guy, okay? We're not scared of how many calories are in here. We're not worried about any of that crap. We're trying to get this to taste good, okay? You're gonna take about a half a handful of chocolate chips, maybe a little less, and just sprinkle them on top of the waffle. And then we're gonna go with a little stack of action, okay? We're gonna stack this one on top. Bada bing, bada boom, right here. We're gonna take one more waffle, Hit it with a little bit of butter, okay? Butter, that's cool for butter, okay? We're gonna stack this on top here, right? This little stackable will create a nice microwave oven effect that will then melt these chocolate chips so that you got even more chocolatey flavor, okay? Boom, there's our start, okay? Look at this, this already looks heavenly, right? But this is cooking with a fat guy. We ain't done yet, okay? We go and then, Bounce up into a little crema. Remember the French version of whipped cream, right? That doesn't say whipped cream, it says crema. We're gonna hit a little spiral, right? I recommend about three seconds on the spiral, okay? Now, this next part you gotta do quick because your crema's gonna melt if you don't, okay? Give it a couple shakes. We're gonna drizzle the top with caramel because, I mean, look at that, okay? And then listen, this is cooking with a fat guy, and you can't have waffles without syrup. So we're gonna boom, 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 boom. Right, a little couple shakes of syrup. And look at that. Okay, look at that, right? I'm gonna set this right here. I'm gonna get a glass of milk and I'll be right back. And now, one tip from a fat guy, always go fat-free milk, okay? I know I said calories don't count. Fat-free milk tastes better and you're getting like way less calories from fat. So that's a tip, dieting tip from a fat guy. I know, you know, you probably don't wanna accept for dieting tips for me, but there it is, okay? Now look how delicious this looks. We're gonna get a nice cut in here, okay? 
Oh, you gotta get a cut through all three. Get your fork in there so it's nice and centered, okay? Oh, look at that. Oh man, the caramel, the syrup. That's off the chain. That's absolutely ridiculous. That's a nine out of 10. Go try it right now. We're gonna wash it down with some fat-free milk. Always gotta stay healthy. Oh my gosh, you guys. This this is delicious, you know. I'm I wanna know what you guys wanna see me cook next on cooking with a fat guy. Okay. Always delicious food. Always easy to make. You can make this right now in your house. You probably got all the ingredients. And <coughs> oh man. Down the wrong pipe. Let me know what you guys want to see next on Cooking with a Fat Guy. And as always, stay sweet.